What? There's something in my teeth. Docker, what have you done to me? Hello, your friendly neighbourhood Docker here, and welcome to my new video. Now a couple of weeks ago, I asked some of you guys on Facebook if you could ask me a couple of questions, just in case you wanted to know a little bit more about me. Not that I don't already talk about myself enough. So, I thought I'd put on a couple of thinking caps and see if I could answer the questions for you. When did you know you wanted to get into photography? That's a very good question. I first knew I wanted to get into photography when I was about 13, 14 years old. And my parents bought me a digital camera. I'm saying that in the loosest sense because, um, well, this was about 2002, 2003. Do you want to see the camera? This was my very first camera. It was a Sanyo. It was very old, one of the first ever to be made um, of the digital variety. And its resolution was just about the same size as your bog standard laptop screen. Now I could only really get about 20 exposures out of it, so I had to really choose wisely because the card on the inside was only 8 megabytes in size. Now, you can imagine how frugal I had to really be when it came to actually deciding on which images to choose. But it gave me a lot of time to experiment and be creative. It also gave me an opportunity to actually meet new people, make new friends at school and take lots of pictures of me with some of the friends who mine who happen to be female. I can't say that. No, I'm going to cut that. I can't say that. Or can I? How awesome is your girlfriend and do you think you'll one day marry her? Is somebody fishing? What inspired you to start cosplaying? Well, Back in around 2007-2008, I was still living down in Plymouth, and one of the comic book shops that was down there decided to hold a sci-fi day. I decided that I was going to dress up a little bit, but mainly take pictures, and it's kind of stayed that same way since. It was another outlet for my photography, and it kind of grew from there. Cats or dogs? <sighs> it's a hard one to choose. I mean, which would you decide? I mean, I love Snoopy, I love Tigger. Don't give me that look, guys. No, seriously, don't give me that look. I can't, I can't choose. Seriously, I can't. No, what are you doing? No, 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 no. What's your favorite book? This is another hard decision to make because I have so many and I read quite a lot these days. Um, but at a push, I would say, fiction-wise, it's gotta be Night of the Living Trekkies. I managed to polish this off in one day. It's probably one of the best presents that my best mate Charlotte's ever gotten me. And as for non-fiction, I'd go with the Satanic Bible. You get a lot of good messages in there without the dogma. What did you think of the casting of Michael Gambon as Dumbledore? I don't like Harry Potter. I hate Harry Potter. When it came to Harry Potter back in the late 90s, I decided to go with Darren Shan. Now Darren Shan's a much better guy, but he was shafted when it came to the films. Do you think Kai is really ginger, or does he dye it? He's ginger. Don't ask me how I know. No, never ask me. What's my favourite memory of cosplaying so far? It's got to be last year in November. MCM fell on my birthday. Big group meet, lots of pictures. It was just a really fun day. Plus I got to show off my Nostalgia Critic cosplay, which nobody had seen before. Not a lot of them had actually seen me outside of a shirt, actually. What is your favourite mainstream band, and what is your favourite unsigned band? Oh no. You've opened a can of worms here. Welcome to my music nook. This is where I keep around 2,000 of my favourite pieces of music, um, including vinyl, CD, cassette, the works really. There are some bands that I'll just buy anything of. That includes promos, DVDs, stuff from other countries even though it's got the same track listing. Yeah, I know, it sounds silly, but it works for me. Some of these bands include Apollo 440, U2, Placebo, and Garbage. The number one band that I will always go to is Gorillaz. I've been there since they began, and I'm still rooting for them even today. When it comes to unsigned bands, there's only really two that I can think of. The first is the Plymouth punk band, the Bus Station Loonies. If you like your punk and you like it to be funny, these guys are the ones to go for. 
The second band, Hell from the North, and they're complete assholes. It's Petrol Bastard. What colour is your underwear? Okay, peeps, I've answered as much of your questions that I'm willing to answer. That or I've run out of hats. I need more hats. I'm always going to need more hats. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that other gibbity crap. But for now, I've got a box that needs opening. What's left here? Right there. Got it.